Hey guys, Ben Vic here, back with a vlog, vlog number 38, 38 if you are counting each vlog using numbers like me. Welcome back to the vlog, I thought it was time for a vlog, I just, I don't know if there's ever going to be a time where there's not a ridiculous amount of items that need reviewing, so I can't just not do vlogs ever, so <laughs> I just thought I'd do one anyway. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't, hopefully everyone, all these vendors, manufacturers, get sick of the lateness and the poor quality videos and, and just give up sending me things and then the list goes down and we can go back to normal. Um, that's probably what will happen very soon, but either way, a vlog needed to happen at some point, didn't it? Um, just, just let's just vlog it up, let's just vlog it up. Thank you for Thank you for clicking on this video and watching it. Um, should probably say that stuff at the end. Okay. Um, yeah, a vlog. It's vlog time. It is vlog time. Uh, let's. Um, what am I vaping on? <laughs> let's just do that first. What am I vaping on? I'm vaping on the Azeroth um, RDTA from Coil Art. Huge fan of the Mage. Big fan of this Azeroth as well. Um, that's good too. That's good. Um, I like the food chai. Podcast listeners know the food chai is where it's at. Um, yeah. And inside here I've got this. Delish fish beige lobster. Um, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. I just do. There comes a time in every man's life where he needs to vape on a beige lobster. And so that is what uh, what I must do. Um, let's get straight into the comments. Um, loads of new stuff to talk about. Got a giveaway. Um, no juice. Really, I'm over that. Um, and I think you guys are too. Um, so let's just get into it. Channel stuff later on as well. Okay, so let's do it. Um, in the previous vlog, we talked about... Molly starting school, we stopped, talked about the Night V2, look how long it's taken to go from talking about the Night V2 in the vlog on the 9th of September to now the 4th of October and the the Night V2 review only went up last week, ah, not good times you know and the problem is like no one new will ever come and see the channel because the reviews are so late like, you know, everyone else has already done the reviews. So it's like old news. You know, a mod that's a month old is old news. Uh, so no one comes to see me. Um, and that's why my channel just stagnates, you know. It's crazy. Um, anyway, uh, vlog 37 was the previous one. We talked about Night V2, we talked about Live Paw 60, and Molly starting school. Uh, the comments, Jack Turnbra says, uh, Congrats on your own boy status. I'm an ideal Omi. Technically, technically, in the same way, it, it, I just, yeah, technically I'm an Omi. Um, Ollie3232 says you bring a touch of needed class to the iOS. I don't know about that. Um, I, I bring a, a touch of something. Uh, M. Lee says, interesting vlog, enjoyed it, thanks. No sweat, M. Lee. Um... Inkitatus says, nice one, mate. Cheers. Um, Kieran Rowe said, if you could only eat the same meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? <laughs> Keep up the good work. Same meal for the rest of my life. Same meal for the rest of life and not get fat. <laughs> no, I can't change the rules. Same, meals, same meal for the rest of my life, probably just curry. Probably just curry. A nice lambuna. Um, Polo65 says congrats on being the fourth own oh boy I spend so much time either watching or listening to you <laughs> I'm sorry about that <laughs> Brian Edwards says thank you oh says that Hugo looks interesting like the styling uh, yes yeah yeah it is I like the styling as well it's, it's, it's out there it's out there um, it's a little bit boxerish, you know. Can't deny that, um, but uh, it's a it's it is decent mod, you know. It's decent mod for thirty five quid. And do you know what it's got? And I didn't show you in the review. Come on, I didn't show you in the review. But I um, 
forgot to show you this feature on it. Um, it's, it does all the stuff, watch the review, but then, then add this bit in with your brain. Uh, if you double click, you see that? Do you see what that is? Look at that, all that stuff. You can adjust your vape in like a in like a D oh god, what am I doing now? Uh, <laughs> you can adjust your vape in like a DNA style. Um, but on screen, not without using software, you know? Uh, how cool is that? 35 quid, and you can do that with that. Hey, how good is that? Yeah, you can change the ramp up, you can change your style, you can make it... A really nice thing to do is to make it go up and down and up and down, like like uh, in 2013 and 2014, like mods did then. If you want a retro vape, yeah, you just go... And that's... Um, that's probably a very nice vape, you know, I do miss that pulse width modulation. Um, or you can just make it do something normal, like heat the coil up quicker at the start and then just slightly taper off. It depends on how you vape. I suppose that's the point. Um, yeah, so Hugo, bargain, stand by my thoughts on that. Um, Schnibbler64 says, woohoo, thanks for the mention, matey fame at last. Uh, not on this channel, but if uh, if I got someone else to <laughs> shout you out, I'll I'll put a word in, see if I can get someone else to shout you out, and then true fame will await. Um, yep. Um, Steve Raven has made a quite an edgy sideways look at the week's news comment he's put uh, can we vape on the new Samsung Note while it's charging always wanted to vape a phone one less thing to carry thanks Samsung uh, and that's a reference to Samsung's catching on fire um, didn't make as much news as one guy's putting his battery in his pocket with loose change um, but <laughs> but yeah Samsung's yeah lipo lipo batteries are dangerous if they're not correctly manufactured or they're misused by the end user. And you know what else? All batteries, all batteries are dangerous if not correctly used. You can't put a loose 18650 in, and why am I telling you guys? Um, you guys are the best. You don't do that stuff. Um, Keith M says pickled onion or walnut whip. Pickled onion. Uh, uh, Rob Merrick says, why fronts or boxers? Mm, boxers, personally. I'm not, I don't really get the why. I don't really use the why bit. I'm not a big fan of the why. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's just another day in paradise uh, on the comments section of YouTube. Um, keep them coming. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, what I will do when i got ne next vlog is got to better prepare the comments and my responses and all that stuff. Um, it won't just be me reading my own channel back to you. Um, yeah, that's the plan. It's good to have plans. Um, what did we? What have we previously reviewed? We previously reviewed this, the Live Pause 60. Check that out if you missed it. Stand by everything I say in that. I haven't had time to form a different opinion, so that's that. I really like that with the um, Serpent Mini still a great RTA uh, when you put the deck on it. Um, what else did we look at? We looked at this TFV8, uh, the Cloud Beast. I got a custard in here that I made myself. Mm. That's noisy, isn't it? Not muting that out. I'm going to I'm going to amplify that. Yeah, how do you like that? Um, yeah, noisy but cloudy. Um, what I have found, I don't know if I mentioned in the review, but um, what I have found is I now prefer the heads that are just one big coil rather than the four coils. I prefer the heads that look like that to the ones with the four. The four one, a bit crazy. Um, I actually like the uh, just purely spherical one. I think it's a parallel coil in there. Um, so that's that. What else have we looked at? The Knight? The Knight V2. I stand by what I said in there. Um, it's a sort of 
it, it's that permanent dilemma of reviewing, like where you know something's got issues, but you like it. It's like, so it's one of those. I mean, it's a worthwhile watch if you're genuinely considering the Knight of E2. If you've always wanted a cage style mod, I don't think this is a bad place to start. I didn't mention the strange button position, but um, covered that ground in the V1, didn't we? Um, so that's that. What else has happened? The eye care. That's over in a box of Sigalite stuff that I'm giving to a smoker. And we'll see what they think of it. But um, I was unimpressed by the eye care. Sorry. And I, but, and I, but I should say that since that review, a lot of people have come forward and said they like the eye care mini. So horses for courses, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts, mate, swings and roundabouts, swings and roundabouts, mate. Um, it's, it is. It is swings and roundabouts. Some people like the swings. Some people like the roundabouts. I didn't... The adjustable airflow didn't work for me, and therefore it was a lung hitter. A start of vape kit that's a lung hitter just didn't sit with me. It's also quite... Oh, I don't know, maybe it's my coil head or something, but I found it quite gurgly, spitty, juicy. If you suck it too hard, you get juice in your mouth. I don't like the suck activation. It just wasn't for me. But I know a lot of people do like it, so fair play. Um, and the Azeroth, like I've said, this thing just chucks the titties. Got a beefy coil in here, so that first one's that that first vape's a write-off. Absolutely lovely, love that. Best RDTA in my opinion, and by that I mean, you know what I mean. Um, yeah. So let's just let's get into new stuff. Thirteen minutes. Let's get into new stuff right now, and then we'll just pour through all the new stuff. Then we got the giveaway, some channel update news. And, oh, what have I been up to? Is this a good, no, I'll do some stuff. I'll show you some stuff. Um, and show you some vote stuff, then I'll show you what I've been up to in the last few weeks um, in the form of a photographic montage. Um, let's do that. So, what's coming up for review? I've got this. This is the X-Taste 250 watt mod. Um, it has uh, its own proprietary LiPo inside. 250 watts. Um, it comes with um, a crazy array of... I can turn the screen on. It comes with a crazy array of um, updates. It doesn't. It literally doesn't work until you update the firmware, which is quite incredible. Um, it's got... Um, a crazy screen going on, all that stuff on it, and all that stuff. Um, that'll be. Oh, I know what I'll do. I go like that. I hold that, then go down, power off. Um, so yeah, so that'll be an interesting one. Um, yeah, I don't want to say too much about that right now because I'm still talking to the manufacturer. Um, it's a new company, uh, X Taste X250. That one. Um, yeah, so that's that. So that was that was that. Um, got the Taruk, the Taruk by Coil Art. Um, this is a new sub ohm clearizer by them. I think it looks nice on this. It might just be me. I'm vaping around 50 watts with that. Um, now it's Coil Art, so it's Coil Art coils in their own sub ohm clearizer. So, uh, and let me just caveat this by saying I love the Azeroth. And I love the mage. So I really like those two things that they made. So I do like coil art. But their coil heads don't seem to be durable enough. Um, so therefore their sub tank, that's the danger is that that isn't durable enough. Uh, so I might only get a small amount of juice. I'm currently at the 15 mil mark. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping very close track of how the coil head is performing um, for duration, because that's going to be the one floor, I think. Um, and I'm currently at the 15 mil mark, and it's just, we'll see, we'll see. By the time I've done the review, I've done another 15 mil, and we'll see. And if, if it turns out that the only thing wrong with that tank is the durability of the coils, we'll take one apart, and we'll look and see why, what the problem is, and we'll feed it back to coil art, because it's really holding them back now, I think. 
Um, all those special heads that they do for all those tanks are amazing for 10, 15 mil, and then they're rubbish. Um, and so it's probably holding back sales of that. It's going to hold back sales of that. So we'll try and pass on the info to them if we can. Um, so that's that. Uh, what health have I got coming up? Oh, I've got this uh, Minikin V2. Um, every dad and his dogs probably already got the review up by the time you see this. And I don't even have ruddy batteries in it. Um, the Minikin V2. So what they've done this time, I think it's now 180 watts. I think that's just for the sake of progress, though. Um, who cares about that? Anything over 100 is plenty, isn't it? Um, and this one, this one's thing is, it is that shape that everyone's doing now, that shape. Um, but uh, this one is a touch screen touch screen so what you do is you swipe it down and then you get your options like all those sort of things yeah look at those puff oh i've just cleaned my puff count ah but anyway so uh whoop 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 uh um yeah so that's that. I can have a vape on it if you want me to. Uh, and on, on top of that is the Triad RDA from them. Now this is, again, you've probably already seen it elsewhere. Um, this is the uh, Tri-Coil, a three-coil... I can... it'll focus. There you go. Um, three-coil velocity style deck. I know. Three-way velocity. What next? What next? What will they think of next? Um, three-way velocity RDA. Now, let's have a go. Let's get those coils warm. Calm down. So that's that. That's that. Uh, yeah, Minikin V2, it's, 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 it's really something, you know. Uh, and the RDA, I like the RDA. I don't need three coils. I don't need a three coil RDA, but it's there. Um, what I really don't need is a RDTA version. Look at this, look at this. Now this one, unfortunately, insists on um, that. It insists on the dual... It, ins it insists on vert being vertical coil, really, the way it's designed. Um, and I'm not a big fan of this one. So I'm not a big fan of the Jenny. They're calling it the Triad Genesis, um, just to be different. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that one, but I'm going to do the Genesis and the RDA together. And then I'm going to do the Minikin V2 on its own. Uh, so there is that. I've also got this. This just came in, hot off the press several days ago. Um, this is the um, Org Vape Zoom mod. Org Vape Zoom. Look at that. Uh, it looks really classy on this side. It's got a really nice fire button. Like if like if you're holding it like that, it's just there. You don't have to it's just perfect. It's lovely. Uh, really classy on that side. And then they did that on the back. What's that about? Scratch that off. Paint it on. Um, but yeah, that's the Zoom 60 by Org Vape, um, and the mod is the mod's dinky, aff. Um, but the tank that goes on it, it comes with a tank. It's one of those things that come with a tank. The tank on it, I can't get a tune out of that tank at all. Um, I know that's not what it's designed for, but if I can't get a tune out of it, I tend not to review it. Um, so the it comes with a tank. I'm preferring to use a different tank on it, but the mod is the mod's not bad actually. Um, yeah. Double thumber. That's not my official verdict on that mod. That's just me being weird. Uh, what else? Lastly, not. Yeah, we'll call it a day after this one. Um, we've got this. That's got Misty on the screen. Um, Serpent Mini. The Serpent Mini mod by Watofo. Yeah, they made another mod. Despite what happened before, <laughs> they made one anyway. Um, so this is the Serpent Mini Mod 
from Watofo. It's a, a, a 2000 Ma LiPo, 1 amp charging via your USB, uh, 50 watts stainless steel TCR, all that temperature control malarkey. Um, pretty nifty, strange shape, you know. Um, something compared to something like a, a, a cool Fire 4. Um, it's very very strange. It's just as wide as it, isn't it? But way short, way short. Uh, very interesting shape, very interesting design. Screen on top. Um, and a review for that is coming soon. Um, got the Bachelor on top, the Bachelor version 2 from EH Pro. Uh, sent This was sent by naturevape.co.uk. Top people, lovely people there. Um, liking the Bachelor V2. Liking the Bachelor V2 and got it on the Serpent at the moment. And the Serpent is not uh, not doing too badly at all at the moment to be honest uh, not too badly at all right let's take a let's all take a take a minute let's take a minute this is what i've been up to this week Right, yeah, so that's just, I used to do that in all the vlogs, that was a thing that I did, and I haven't done it in the last couple, uh, laziness I guess, um, but yeah, so that's what I've been up to, just life, just normal life, normal people things, um, and, and some vape photos in there as well, um, so that's that, that's what I've been up to, giveaway time, this is for the moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, let's do it, today we are giving away the Movkin Disguiser nano kit the movkin disguiser nano kit and the movkin disguiser stick it gets vapey and it's vapey in here Mosque, movkin disguiser stick both together both cut together coming to you um that's uh <laughs> that's that's what that's what you get um what you need to do is you need to tell me uh by way of email you need to tell me, um, you, you need to put your name and address in the body of the email. The email needs to go to cd underscore v1ck at hotmail.com. Um, and the title of the, or subject of the email needs to be giveaway38. Um, and once you've done all that, I need the answer to this question. What is the official web website of Movkin? What is the official website of Movkin? What is the URL, the link of Movkin's official website? Um, and those could be coming to you. Those could be coming to you. The Movkin stick and the Movkin nano kit um, on its way to you. Potentially, if you win that, good luck with that. You can turn this off now. Bye. <laughs> um, right, let's wait for everyone to go. And then I've got some other stuff to talk about. Yep. See you later. <clears throat> Right, 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 right. Um, channel news, channel news. Um, really struggling with the channel, I, I, in all ways, in all ways, really. Um, I'm struggling with the amount of products I'm getting. Um, what happens once you've once you've agreed to review something for someone, Watofo, anyone, <laughs> Tesla, anyone. Once they've got your address and they know you're a reviewer and you've sent something and they were happy with that thing. What happens is they they don't really tend to contact you. Sometimes some the very professional, polite ones do tell you every single time if you've got a problem, you can tell them, and that's absolutely fine and that's great. And some just send it and that's fine and great as well. But what that means is I'm not seeking out anything coming in, but I'm still getting a boatload of stuff in, and I'm really struggling with the amount of things I'm getting in. You know, um, and that's why the reviews are just coming out. Bosh, 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 bosh. Um, the other thing though, 
when they send it, a lot of them are from China, and a lot of the things that come from China, they get attached with import duty tax, basically, on the package coming in. And every time that happens, you know, I have to pay £23, £23, I think it comes out about £23 package, getting a couple of packages a week, that's that's £50, Uh, extrapolate that to a month and I might have done over £200 on just on import tax for this review gear that I didn't ask for. Um, Then what I tend to do is review it. I use it for a little while, review it, it goes to one side and then if I do a giveaway it comes to you and I pay the postage again on that you know and I'm giving away two or three items a month so that's another 30 quid um, or I give it to someone, a friend or whatever, that doesn't cost me anything, that's absolutely fine. What tends to happen is I don't vape that stuff, you know, I'm vaping um, vaping it, my DNA 200 that I, I bought, I'm vaping my tugboat mod that I bought, I'm vaping my petri that I bought, I'm vaping my flask that I bought, um, and the list goes on, I'm vaping my stuff that I like, you know, and so it's actually costing me quite a lot of money to do this channel um, and I'm not complaining and I'm not whinging I want to keep providing you guys with content that you find appropriate to watch and that's all smashing super great um, however I don't know how long I can keep forking out and it seems like the busier I get the more it's costing me to do the channel and, and all that stuff and, and all this is a long winded way of telling you that I'm going to have to try and find a way to at least create some money coming in from this channel, um, some sort of revenue stream to help with that cost. Now, I don't, you probably won't have noticed, you people watching this vlog probably won't have noticed, but what I've actually done is monetized my YouTube channel. Um, and what that simply means is there's now adverts on the channel sometimes. Um, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to do it so that I upload the video and all, all you guys, all my diehard subscribers, you, you guys get to watch it, for, you know, you, most of you would watch it in 48 hours. After 48 hours, that's when I tend to turn the adverts on for that video. So most of you guys won't notice, it won't hinder your lives or annoy you at all. Some people watching it after that will will see an advert potentially. I mean, that's just YouTube. YouTube has adverts, life goes on. I don't think anyone would be that bothered. But I'm trying to do it in a way that doesn't affect you guys at all. Um, so that's that's the new plan. I'm also going to contact some of the manufacturers and say, you know, uh, if you want me to review this, really, you need to pay the import duty on it as well. You know, it's a two-way street, isn't it? Um, but uh, so you know, so I'll, I'll make those changes behind the scenes. You may or may not notice adverts. Um, that is my vain attempt to claw a few dollars back, um, and to help keep the channel independent. You know, there's so many potential revenue streams, uh, but I don't really approve of the other ones in a way. You know, like um, you know, people get paid donations by manufacturers to their channels. I'm not sure if that's appropriate, really, when you're supposed to be independently reviewing an item. Um, the things like that, you know, there's revenue streams. I could do um, affiliate links, so I could say, hey, this is a great, in the description of the video, I could say, like, hey, this is a great mod, by the way, check this out. And that link could be an affiliate link. And what that means is if you go through and click and buy something from that website that I've sent you to, uh, I get a little cut of that. It's that... There's people that offer you um, commission on juice sales based on juice reviews. Um, I could sell my free. I could sell my gear. I could sell the gear that comes into me. Um, I don't think that would go down too well, though. Um, th- th- there are other revenue streams, but the most logical one and the most appropriate, I think, is first step is the affiliate links, and um, not the affiliate links, the adverts, the YouTube adverts. So. For a starting point, I'm going to try and do the adverts on YouTube. I don't; it won't bring in much because it's a small channel and it's a small, dwindling, stagnant channel. So I don't think it'll particularly do that well with the adverts and stuff. But all that is is just yeah, me letting you know or uh, what what that's about. I just want to be open and that I've had to turn on adverts because 
channel's costing me a lot of money to do. Um, and that's before you start thinking about upgrading your microphone, upgrading your camera, upgrading your computer, because there's vegetable glycerin all on the inside. Um, so yeah, so oh, that's that. That's that's a thing. That's um, saved it to the end because boring. But uh, I thought I would clue you guys in on why you suddenly start might see adverts popping up on the channel. Um, most people are monetized these days, so I'm assuming you guys are cool with it these days. Um, but that's that. So loads and loads of reviews coming up as per. Um, anything you want me to change, anything you want me to improve, email me. Link's always in the description. Uh, or just put a comment on any video saying it'd be really cool if you did this, did that. Always looking for ways to improve this, uh, the actual video content. Um, I, my reviews are very one dimensional at the moment, you know, so always looking for new ideas and ways. Let me know in the comments and stuff. Um, but no, thanks for watching. Back to some more reviews. I'll have to get some more reviews done. Um, see you all really soon. Bye.